I mean, there is scientific fact that, you know, some of the minerals and stuff in there is actually good for that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we'll get into all the technical details. Um, and it's also, um, it's something uh, you eat with your hands and basically you're tasting the ocean, you know? And everyone, you know, everyone likes to go to the ocean. It's romantic, so it transfers itself to the oyster, so to speak. I'm sure people come here with an agenda. <laughs> well, you also got to look at it this way, whether it's really an aphrodisiac or not, uh, by people talking about it, it becomes one. It's a perception thing. So people's perception, oh, let's go out for oysters on Valentine's Day, and let's say you're just starting to date or something, you are implying certain things. <laughs> I mean, depending on what, on what your relationship is, but you are implying certain things, and that's a perception. So. And, if, and we like the perception. It's good for us and it's good for them. North Haven, Oyster Bay, Kumamoto, my favorite. Have you noticed the change in me now? Maybe it's best <laughs> if no answers that one. <laughs> With oysters in particular, and I want to emphasize there's absolutely no data to prove that oysters improve sexual performance, but another component of the myth is that oysters have zinc, and zinc is important for proper prostate function. We're practitioners, and it's going to be at the New York City Department of Health. Mm -hmm. great thing. Since sexual performance is closely linked to something happening in the brain. It's well known that if you think something's going to help you, it can Im Im improve performance. So if you think the oyster or the chocolate or the snail or the rhinoceros tusk is going to help you, that may be enough. Uh, the aphrodisiac effect, but also I think you know, if, if you want to fall in love, you know, to find somebody, you have to open up your heart, and opening an oyster is also a metaphor for. You know, opening up your heart to something, to the world, to, to another person. And, uh, you know, supposedly they have uh, aphrodisiac-like properties. Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs>